Hey guys, it's Dave here at FLC Knives. This is part one of the instructional video for the tri-fold joint tool. Step one, whatever tool you're going to make a uh, sheath for, just make your standard taco, but bear in mind you're going to need good definition in this region here. If not, you're going to make your sheath wider than you want. And the void we're talking about, if you can see the section here, really hard to show. There you go. The little bit there outside of the circle is the triangular void. Now if you get better definition, whether you use uh, thicker foam, denser foam, more pressing, hotter temperatures, whatever it takes, try to minimize that. And I'm going to pause for a second here and get ready for step two. Okay guys, we're back in step two. So for step two, we're gonna mark out the limits of my sheath for rough cutting purposes. And I'll either use my bandsaw or these to trim that to length. So I'm gonna pause for a sec. So what I've done here is shorten the sheath up to the point where there's not really a whole lot extra there. I don't need to make more dust than necessary. And for creating the actual dry fold joint, this is gonna help us out considerably. I'd just like to point out that having the red handle and the green handle is beneficial because the jaws are opposite. And that can allow you to get in and cut more closely. For this next stage, you should have received one of these pieces in your trifold joint kit. This piece is used for scoring the correct position on your sheath. So we're going to slide this over to where it's still just on the edge of the flat section of the kydex. So the inside leg right here is going to be catching on the beginning of that radius where your Kydex flows up and wasn't pushed in super hard by your foam or whatever method you used. So I'm going to set this down. I use this piece of angular aluminum as a guide and it keeps my thumb out of the way while I score this. And you can see what happened there. So now I'm going to safely score that deeper. I like to cut on a piece of 2x4 with a shop towel on it so that when my blade runs out and I'm cutting it pops off the end and sticks in here so that I'm not coming down here. So as you can see, this piece has come off. My next step is to simply deburr this edge. Here you can see I've taken the raised burr off there from scoring. So here's where we left off. You can see I've got this piece of shim here. Doesn't matter, you can use aluminum, steel, copper, brass, whatever kind of thin material you have that will shield heat. And I'm gonna put the cut side down and the tool is gonna to go behind the sheet metal. I'm gonna direct my heat gun along this region so that I can soften up the kydex so that I can fold it over this piece here.
as you can see. I've jammed that down in that slot. If the temperature's right, it just goes right in there nice and smooth and the aluminum will suck the heat out of that in no time. So I'll take a moment here, slide it down to the end, and carefully score the kydex along that edge, right in there, so they have a guide for when I pop that out. So I'm just going to take a moment here, working on my nice piece of 2x4 with Shop towel on it. Carefully score this line. You can see how I got the feel for it. I kind of know how far to go, and that just pops right off. From there. Shop knife away. I keep a war knife at each end of the bench with a uh, sheath screwed to the bench. Super handy. So I just deeper that edge a little bit. And that is the essence of the trifold joint. From here, I'm just going to go to the belt sander. You guys know all about that. Get around off this end, get around off this end, and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. I almost forgot. I like to cut that corner off with the snips. It's just that much less dust. For me to make. So this is what it looks like right off the grinder. I'll give it a quick buff. I like to clean up the inside edges. This edge right here that presents a bit of a point. I'll just take and round that with my thumb with some sandpaper. Same thing here. Kind of just minimize that profile. In case my sheath is all shaped up the way I want it. Now you'll have received a piece of this uh, scotch brake pad. The purpose of it is if you get any scuffs in forming the joint, you can just take and give it a light rub and it'll restore much of the former finish. It's just an aesthetic thing, it's not required, but I've come to enjoy it also for giving a quick buff to my edges. Gives a nice matte, linear matte finish with very little effort. And there you have it. The FLC knives trifle joint.